Hey, welcome to this quick tutorial video on how to create a static front page. My name is Sarah. I'm going to walk you guys through these seven steps to quickly and easily create a static front page for your blog. Now, there's many reasons why you would want to do it, but mainly you want to create a static front page if that's something that you're looking to do to make your blog feel a little less like a blog so that you can captivate, capture, and convert more of your readers into paying customers, into potential sales for your business. Chances are if you are on this video, if you've been following my blog at digitalomnipresence.com for some time, you know, then you are aware that we talk a lot about using a blog to brand yourself and build and grow your business on the internet. So obviously one of the one of the one of the effects of building your business would be generating revenue for that business. Now, a blog is a great way to do that. We're not going to go into we're not going to go too much into that in this video. I just wanted to let you know that a great opportunity that you have to captivate, capture and convert more of your readers into paying customers would be through using a static front page on your blog. And I'm going to show you how easily you can do that using the Kalatsu branding station right now. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Kalatu dashboard. And once you log into your Kalatu dashboard, we're going to come over here to the left and we're going to scroll down to pages. Now, once we're here, we're just going to come up here and select to add a new page. And this is where the fun stuff can really begin. This is where you can get really creative. And if you're not, you know, a very tech you know, savvy person and you think, oh my gosh, well, you know, I don't know how to code or I don't know how to do, you know, X, Y, or Z, you know, don't stress. The cool thing about this method that I'm showing you is that this is the absolute most user, you know, tech user friendly option you have to create a static front page. So, you know, if you want to still have that dynamic option on your blog, you can still use this regardless of, you know, whether you have HTML or coding experience. So just for the sake of this for uh, for the sake of this tutorial video let's just say we want to this is okay here we go and in this option you can you know you can you can write a text so if you want to create just like a, a a little welcome message thanking your readers for hopping onto your blog before they get into your content so that you know you can just let them know you appreciate them for being there you can write that here um, if you wanted to post an image here you could do that by uh, where is it by inserting an image or a video or I mean like really the opportunities here are endless if if you are now if you are a little bit aware of how to do HTML, copy and paste coding and stuff like that, you can always come over here to the text portion and paste in your HTML codes here. So that's an option as well. But for the sake of this, we're just going to say this is our example page text. Hi. <laughs> Here we go. And of course, you know, you can tweak it. So what uh, the cool thing about this is that whatever your blog's current theme is, so whatever the color scheme is, whatever the font scheme, all of that stuff, once you create a static front page using this option that I'm walking you through now, all of that's going to carry over onto your static front page. So it's going to match. The design will match the design of your blog so that everything is congruent and it's not interrupting the flow for your readers. So once you've done that, once you've decided whether you want to do text, an image, a video, add some HTML, all you do is you come over here to where it says publish, and that's it. You just click publish. Now this is where this step that I'm about to walk you through, pay close attention because this is where it can get a little tricky if you don't do it right, okay? If you do not do this right, you will make your site a living headache for your readers to navigate through because they basically won't be able to navigate through your blog like at all. So pay close attention. Now that you've published your page, you're going to come back over here to the side of your dashboard and go to your global settings. Once you go to your global settings, you're going to come down here and go to your front page settings. Guys, this is really important for you to understand how to do this correctly because, again, if you don't, you're going to basically trap your visitors and your readers in a living nightmare because they won't know how to get from your static page off of that page and onto your blog or in other areas of your website. So what you're going to do at this point is for the front page display, you're going to select a static front page. Come down here to front page 
and select the one that you just published. So for example, we'll do example static front page because that's what we just did. And then all you do is come back up here and go to save changes. And that's it. You're literally done. I mean, how quick was that? The only reason it took as long as it did in this particular tutorial video was because, you know, I, I talked a little bit as I walked you through it. But that's literally the entire process on the easiest way that you can captivate, capture, and convert more of your blog readers into business revenue for whatever it is that you're marketing online. So hope you got a lot of value out of this tutorial video. Make sure that you, if you are on this blog already, if you would like a little bit more of a breakdown, we have that below the video. If you are on this video and you have yet to put your business on the internet using a blog, make sure that you connect with me, right? Okay. So that we can get you plugged into your own branding station, just like I have, and you can begin to have your business be seen, be heard, and be everywhere on the internet. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me and I will be more than happy to walk you through anything that I can help you with.